Anthony Campbell here, continuing our series on your CV on behalf of Boston's Graduate Support Services. After your education, it's the logical place to put your skills. Now, skills can be divided into two types. Your technical or hard skills, such as your computer skills and your languages, or soft skills, which are also known as competencies. For example, leadership skills, time management skills. For your computer skills, be specific. If you can use Microsoft Office and Microsoft Word and Excel and PowerPoint, list them all. IT graduates, listen here. It's very important for you to list all the programming languages you can use, or if you're technical, to list all the systems you can support or maintain. Finance and HR graduates list things like Pastel or Sage. The more detail you give about yourself in your technical skills, the better. And when you come to competencies, please don't just give a list of wonderful things that you can claim about yourself. Give some substance or proof or example. If you say you have leadership skills, give an example. I captained the under-90 netball team. That makes it much more believable. So for your hard skills, there's tangible proof, like marks. For your soft skills, you need to give some backup. 